Ryan here for another Farming Simulator 19 modding tutorial. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be looking at a little more of an advanced topic here. We're going to be adding a decal here to this uh, Case 9380. And I figured we'd just do a steering wheel logo here. Now, if we go and uh, do a logo here, let's just, uh, you know, let's just, just click on the uh, steering wheel here. This is not going to be properly set up here, by the way. But let's just say it were and you wanted to do a logo. I just uh, throw a logo on here for the moment here. Uh, case 9380 textures. Let's just throw that on there. It's probably not going to quite look right. Yeah, no, it doesn't quite look right. That's fine. Uh, but if you were to go down to the custom shader here, everyone. Oh, come on. Open up. There we go. And if we were to set this to decal. Where is the decal? There it is. Decal. You're going to get a warning message. The current selected shape does not provide the following vertex attributes required by the current material text cord, blah, blah, blah. Who knows what that means? Anyway, you're going to get that warning message. Not good, right? So you don't want that. So let me just uh, reclose this. We don't want to save that. And open this back up. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're just going to apply a little center logo on the steering wheel. Should be relatively simple. Like I said, this is going to be a little more advanced topic. And I'm going to make the assumption you probably already know how to use Giants Editor. And you're going to need to know how to use Blender for this as well. And or if you know how to use another one of the other programs that is supported here by Giants for modding. So we're going to click on the steering wheel. And we're going to go File, Export. Now uh, we're going to export that as an OBJ. So we'll just call that wheel. Then we're going to go to Blender here. We're going to open up uh, Blender. Get rid of that little cube that always shows up there. File, Import, OBJ. We're going to open up the Case 9380 and we're going to go to the wheels here. So there's our wheel. Nice uh, zoom in on that. And what we're going to want to do here, let's go to, click on this wheel here. Let's go to Edit Mode for it. Edit Mode. Uh, first things first, we're going to want to separate out the center portion here. So let's do that. And if I do Control L, that should yep select the entire center portion there. Uh, again, Blender. I'm not going to go through much of this, everyone, but there are multiple selection methods. So you know whatever method you need to use to uh, select what you need to select, you want to put the logo on. Now I'm going to go to P. Press P. We're going to separate that by selection. Uh, at this point, everyone, I could get rid of the steering wheel here. I don't really need the rest of the steering wheel, but uh, we'll just uh, keep it in here just so you can uh, see it. And I'll have to make sure I remember before we export it, we'll just get rid of the wheel because we don't need that. I'm going to rename this to logo. So all we need here, the center piece here, we're going to be putting the logo on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to this one right here. It's a little triangle one here. And we're going to go down to the UV map. So we got one UV map already. We're going to call it diffuse. And then we're going to click the plus symbol here, add another UV map. We'll call that one spec. So we, now we have two UV maps. And we're going to set these UV maps up here. We're going to split the area. And we'll go to the UV editor here on the one. Let's go edit mode over here. So if you notice on our spec, you want to leave this one alone. This one, it's down here. I believe that's the color mask zero, one, or zero area there. You want to leave that alone. This uh, will control your dirt and wear with the spec map. Now, for the diffuse map, the diffuse map is going to control your texture. For that, I'm going to reproject this one. So we'll go back to the edit screen side here. U, smart UV project. We'll just do 03. That should be fine. And then what I'm going to do here as well is I'm going to open up the texture we're using just so we can see it. Take case 9380, textures. I've just got a little logo we're using here. And I want to center tools center this on here so obviously at this point everyone you can see this is smaller than the actual logo so we want to fix that here so we're going to go to make sure we do a to select it all we're going to go scale we're going to scale that up here that should be pretty good i don't quite want to hit the bounds there so it looks like we're pretty close to that yep we're just a little ways away that should be fine Okay, now we don't actually need the rest of this here anymore. We should be good. And again, if you go back to the uh, spec diffuse, zoom this back out here, you can see the spec one is still down here. The diffuse, this is the one, again, that's going to control your texture or material or your decal, whatever you want to call it. Now, we're going to go over to this tab. We're going to create a new material. Uh, material one, let's uh, wheel logo. Again, you can name it whatever you want. doesn't matter. Then we're going to go to this next tab here. Pretty much we're working with these three tabs here. We're going to create two of these. So first off, a diffuse. And this is where your texture is actually going to be loaded, by the way. 
I'll go back and get the texture here again. Uh, textures, brand, yep. Uh, this actually is where you load the texture, by the way. The texture you see me load here does not load the texture, just so you can visually see it here. It doesn't actually load it. So keep in mind, you got to load it there. And then we're going to scroll down. We're going to hit the uh, UV map here. Make sure you select the diffuse UV map. So diffuse texture with the diffuse UV map. It should make sense, right? Now we're going to hit new again. We're going to create a spec texture and we're going to open up. This is where you would add your dirt and wear texture. In my case, this is a steering wheel inside the tractor. So I don't have a dirt and wear. Well, I do have a dirt and wear texture. We just got the in-game dirt and wear texture, which doesn't have any dirt and wear on it. So default specular. So that's just a solid green file there. And of course, as you may have guessed, we're going to scroll down to the UV map. And guess what? We're going to click on the spec UV map. And then we're also going to check and under the specular here, intensity, color, and hardness. Make sure you check those. And at that point, we should be good inside of Blender. Here we go back to edit mode. And if you go to texture here, let's see once here. I believe we can do, if we do shade lists, yeah, now it'll, I don't know why it's not quite showing this right, everyone. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, once we get into Giants Editor, I'm pretty sure it will. For some reason, Blender is not showing this right. But also, you notice you can uh, correct the orientation on this if you want to. Um, I notice it's not, but the steering wheel itself is not straight either. So I figure once we uh, get in Giants Editor, we'll fix all that. That's not going to be in this video, by the way. So, okay, we got that. We're going to go to File, Export, Oh, our Giants I3D. We'll export that as a Giants I3D uh, Wheel Logo. And we'll export that. Now we're going to go back to here. Before we import this, we're going to open this up. Uh, you could import this right away, if, too, if, by the way, if you wanted to. Uh, but in our case here, I think we're going to go ahead and... Oh, I got the wheel in here yet, don't I? Oh, that's fine, I guess. We can leave the wheel in here. Zoom in on that. We'll just make sure we delete it out uh, before we import it, because we don't want to re-import the other wheel. So in the center here, we have our wheel logo. Doesn't exactly look anything different, right? Um, oh, you know what? Actually, let's not do this. No. Uh, let's go edit this first. I thought we could do that first, but nope. We got to correct the links here first. So open this up with Notepad++ dollar sign. And get the texture here. So make sure you correct the links. Save it. You need to open that up with uh, Notepad++ to do that. Or you can open it with Notepad too. I want to, I'd get Notepad++. Okay, now we can open it back up. I noticed our textures were missing there. And that's, again, because uh, Giants Editor doesn't... Well, actually, that's Blender's fault, I guess, in that case. It doesn't have the right links to the uh, textures. And there we go. We have our logo on the sound. It doesn't obviously look quite right. That's because we don't have uh, stuff applied to it here yet. So first off, Gloss Map. So this, again, is where you put your dirt and wear texture. Uh, in this case inside so I'm not going to use a dirt wear texture we're just going to do default specular put our default normal on it and notice it's already taking a little more color also check the alpha blending and I do want to show you folks one thing on that here too before we wrap this uh, up here now we're going to go to custom shaders or not custom oh yeah custom shaders I guess shaders vehicle shader and then we're going to go to decal and now everyone notice we did not get that error message. No error message with that this time, right? That's good. That's what we want to see. So save it. And we can, oh, you know what? Before we close this, get rid of the steering wheel because we don't need that. There we go. Okay, now we can save it. Yes. And then one thing before we import this here as well, I just want to show you folks textures. Uh, here's my logo here. When you save this, at least I'm using no, um, paint.net here with paint.net. Save it as save. Yes. Uh, you want to save it in the BC3 DXT5 format with MIP maps turned on. So just a note on that there. That, if I understand it correctly, per Giants is the uh, format you want to save it in. So, yeah, we don't want to save that here in this case. I already got it saved. Now, go back to our original one here. We're going to go to File, Import, and Cakes9380, our wheel logo. And there you go. You can kind of sort of see it there. Kind of sort of, right? What we're going to do here, we're just going to bump this up. Uh, let's actually, you know what? Put this back where it needs to be. Where is the steering wheel? There it is. So we're going to hold down middle mouse here to move this up. 
middle mouse, move it under the steering wheel. And then I don't quite have this model fully set up here, everyone. But if I did, what I would want to do at this point is go to Edit, Freeze, Transforms, Freeze the Translate, Freeze the Rotate. You shouldn't have to freeze the scale unless for some reason you changed it. But uh, you shouldn't have to do that. So just freeze the Translate and the uh, Rotate. And then that should put this in the correct orientation with the steering wheel. Like I said, I don't have that set up in this model yet. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to negative 0.00. Oh, 0 0.001. And that should just pull it up just a little bit so we can actually see it. And there we go, everyone. There's our logo properly set up here in Giants Editor. Again, we're using the decal shader here like you're kind of technically supposed to sort of. And this is going to be probably more critical on the exterior of the tractor where you're maybe using a custom dirt map or just a dirt map, wear map in general. Like I said, interior here, it's not going to matter quite so much. So on that note, everyone, there we go. That is how you add a decal here inside of a Giants Editor using the decal shader. It requires two UV maps. And again, I showed you how to do it using Blender. Uh, if you're using one of the other 3D programs, probably very similar. You just have to figure out how your 3D editor handles the UV maps and stuff like that. So again, everyone, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions about this, be sure to leave them down below. If you also have any other requests for um, modding here for Farming Simulator 19, be sure to throw them down below as well. And until next time.